So um, you mentioned that you grew up in an, and, and wow, I, why can't I say that? Evangelical. <laughs> I couldn't say that word for a second. Evangelical Christian household. Um, so like, tell us a little bit about what that was like and how did it affect your relationship growing up? Um, so I feel like I was always more growing up. Like I was over here in elementary school trying to find ways to like watch without it being a sin. Mm -hmm. So I was watching like anime and stuff like that as an elementary school person because I thought that that wasn't going to be a sin. Because it wasn't real people? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then, like, middle school, I was over here, like, as soon as my parents left, I was putting on, like, Jersey Shore and, like, Girls Next Door in, like, admiring the Playboy models and, like, their little thongs. And it's, like, my mom would never get me thongs, so it's, like, I would, like, steal thongs as, like, being in middle school. And then when I got to high school, my mom still didn't want me to get, like, thong bikini bottoms. And my parents would try to say, like, like, no guy is going to want to date you if you wear these short shorts or wear like this kind of stuff. And I was just always like, this sounds so stupid to me. And that's actually why I left Christianity, because I'm like, why the would I like have less fun in my real life for a stupid afterlife that I don't even know how it's going to be. Mm -hmm. um, so then I like left Christianity and I was like and then I started getting kicked out of the church on purpose. Um, my parents would try to like make me go and I'd bring really short shorts to where they're like, you either have to change or you have to get out. And I'm like, just kick me out, just kick me out. And then I'd walk home. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it just like translated to so many areas in my life. And it's like, my parents would always try to change me. Like my mom would throw out my shorts when I wasn't home or like they would basically try to shame me into being different or looking different. And then as soon as I graduated high school, after my parents sent me to Mormon rehab in Utah for seven months, um, as soon as I got out, <laughs> my friend took like a Polaroid of me where I was like naked, but like, it was like from my back and I posted that on Instagram. And then I went to my first rave, my first rave ever wore little pasties, um, which people were like, I know you're going to be a raver because no one does that. And just this like whole showing my skin was always so appealing to me. I just felt so comfortable and confident doing it. And I just think everyone tried to slut shame the slut out of me and it never worked. Yeah. Everyone tried to change me. Like people in college, my freshman year at the university of Arizona, Halloween, I had girls yelling at me, calling me a whore for my Halloween outfit. And I'm like, you're in lingerie. I'm just showing more skin. Like I didn't understand why girls were yelling at me. Um, or when I started posting all this crazy stuff on Instagram, specifically like my sophomore year of college, um, people would try to make up rumors that I was like a dude on the side because no one was used to someone like showing that much skin. Now I think it's a lot more normalized, but I just think I've always been like this. 